Scott's up. He says, I've been moving a plumbing GMB up in the maps listing and is now sitting at number four for some serious keywords. This account was set up using MGYB GMB account services. Very nice. Thanks much. Okay. So he's talking about this was a uh, plumbing listing that he set up and used our store's uh, GMB verification services to purchase the GMB profile as opposed to doing it himself. So thank you, Scott. He says, I now have a prospective client. See, guys, it works. Scott's doing exactly what we're teaching. Go out, secure a GMB profile in an area that you want to work in, uh, that you want to generate leads for a business, and then target the business owner. So you back the, the, the service provider into the asset, right? You develop the asset first, get it ranked, get it producing leads, and then you back the service provider into it. It's a much better way I found um, than trying to sell your marketing services to people. All right. And it's some, Scott's doing, he's in our mastermind and he's been getting training on that from inside the mastermind and he's following, taking action. That's awesome, Scott. I'm definitely going to plus one that. He says, I now have a prospective client. My question is, how can I change the primary phone number for the GMB to a call tracking or other number without triggering a Google re-verification? Thanks much. Well, first of all, why would you need to change the primary phone number, Scott? Uh, to a call tracking number or other number without triggering the Google re-verification. Why would you need to do that? If you purchased the GMB from us, you should have already, when you purchased it, purchased it with, you should have provided a tracking number when you purchased it. Does that make sense? So in other words, whenever I go to set up a GMB, guys, I go set up the virtual phone number first so that when I order the GMB from our store, I have provided the phone number that's going to be attached to that listing going forward right? I don't know what, it, you don't want to put a fake number in there because it then once the, once you get the verified profile, it could possibly re-trigger or trigger re-verification when you update that data. That said, Scott, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I would go ahead and just update it because I have uh, GMB listings that I've gone in and literally changed the business name or the business address, um, not the not the physical location, but the web address or the phone number and not had it re-trigger or trigger re-verification. If I've changed the physical address, like the, the, you know, the physical, like the street address, if I change the physical location address, that triggers re-verification, but I've been able to change the phone. I'm not saying it won't trigger verification. It may. And if it does, you may be shit out of luck, which is why you should just order it with all the data, right, right off, right off the bat so that you don't have to worry about it. But what I'm saying is I have changed business names, also web, website URLs, also phone numbers, and had all three of those not trigger re-verification. It's possible that it might, but it's also possible that it's not, that it won't. Okay. Marco, do you want to comment on that at all? But Yeah. Well, once again, this belongs in the local, I know that Scott is in the local GMB Pro uh, Facebook group. So this question belongs there. And, you know, we, we, we could guide him because this, this is actually really simple and, and there's no reason for him to even worry about re-verification if he does it right. Yep. So just come ask in, in, in the group and we'll, and we'll get to you, Scott. One other thing I wanna mention, guys, is a very powerful way to um, really kind of secure these assets to make them a lot less likely to get terminated. And that's to just set up a G Suite account for that asset. Like in other words, tie a, a Google domain. Uh, in that case, you would need a domain, but that's something simple that you could do, guys. You could even use like subdomains and stuff uh, if needed. My point is, if you set up a um, G Suite account, then you, now you're paying Google. It's a way to validate that entity even further, and it makes it like more spam proof, so to speak, right? Uh, more slap proof. <laughs> so 